Cast in the Ozarks. Well, it has been a bumpy ride here over the last several hours. The good news is, is it looks like the severe weather risk is starting to wind down in our area. Now, here's what it looks like on radar. Notice the northern end of this kind of fell apart. Uh, we still have some shower activity kind of passing now east of Rollo over toward the Cuba area. Uh, here in Lebanon, we're, we're getting some rain. Uh, we're getting some heavy rain and thunder as you stretch south down through Ava down toward Gainesville. And then you get into north central Arkansas, and that's the portion of the line that's still severe warned with the risk of damaging wind gusts approaching 60 miles per hour. Here in Springfield, it's gone quiet. The rain has exited off to the east. Still raining, though, pretty good in areas like Seymour, certainly in Mansfield getting some heavy rainfall, likely still getting some gusty winds and frequent lightning strikes. Again, that portion of the line not severe, but still producing gusty winds. Uh, further south from Mountain Home down toward Mountain View, this is the portion of the line that still has some potential of producing wind gusts approaching 60 miles per hour. Uh, this is a look at uh, winds viewed through the radar. And our radar site's here in Springfield, so we're looking at winds that are blowing away from the radar site, and we're getting pretty high up in the atmosphere once you get out into north central Arkansas. But again, it's just sort of a sign of the wind energy that has come with these storms. And this is what it looked like when that line of storms was moving into Springfield. That right there, and we'll let this loop again. Of course, the skies were darkening. That is a shelf cloud moving across the area. And as soon as that shelf cloud moves overhead, that's when the winds really ramp up. And we had a pretty sustained period of strong winds on the order of around 50 to 55 miles per hour. And that did result in power outages and a few limbs down. We also had some heavy rainfall approaching one inch for the day out of the airport here in Springfield. Further south, you can see rainfall totals heavier, but this is also taking into account the heavier rain that we had this morning that fell south of Highway 60 from a round of rain and thunderstorms. So here in southwest Missouri, Cassville east to Branson and south down through uh, Berryville and Harrison east toward Yellville. I mean, this has been a spot that's been soaked over the last day with around one to three inches of rainfall. And we've added to that this evening with that round of storms that continues to press southeast across north central Arkansas at this time. Um, again, looking at storm reports, I mean, just an extens extensive wave of wind and some wind damage within this. I mean, these storms got going across parts of Nebraska and then developed southeast across Kansas, southwest Missouri, and northwest Arkansas this evening. This is what we would call a derecho, a uh, widespread, long-lived wind event with these storms that came in uh, this evening. Uh, looking at the rest of the night, uh, 11 o'clock tonight, uh, looks like a lot of the areas going quiet, looking at drier conditions, still finding some rain though, not severe weather, but rain across north central Arkansas into south central Missouri. That rain will push out of the area, but there'll still be a risk, I think, of showers, especially over northern Arkansas throughout the much of the remainder of the night tonight. Now, by 7 o'clock in the morning, I think the rain's pretty much done, but there's going to be lingering cloud cover. But those clouds will give way to brighter conditions by late morning. It looks like a great afternoon across the area. 69 for a low tonight. Looking ahead to Saturday, most of the area looks dry. Uh, there will be a cold front slowly pushing across northern Arkansas in the heat of the afternoon, so would not be surprised if we don't see a spotty shower or storm try to fire up there. Looks like about 90 for a high. Nice night tomorrow night. Starry skies, a little less humid, down to 66 for a low. And then on Sunday, looks pretty quiet across the area. There's a slight chance for showers and storms heading toward the early evening time frame, maybe closer to central Missouri, but the bulk of the day looks quiet. The bulk of the area looks quiet. 93 for the high. Uh, looking at our forecast beyond the weekend as we get back to work, maybe some spotty showers and storms on Monday. Better chance, I think, for showers and thunderstorms Monday night into Tuesday morning. And then the story, Bailey, is heat. We've been here that. before. We were here this week, 97 for the high on Tuesday, but we have not made it to 100. No, we have not. This summer in Springfield. And I think we're going to do it on Wednesday of next week. I've been keeping my eye on uh, Wednesday. It was 100 a couple days ago. You bumped yeah. it up to 101. Yeah. So we Looking more and more likely that we're going to hit 100 that day. All right. Thanks, Jamie. Now back to reports of storm damage.